Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I want to show you how to create a multi-track drum recording using multiple tracks in Reaper. Now in a previous video, I showed you how to do this using one track, recording all the drums to it, and then busing it out to others for mixing and processing. And in a different video, I'll show you how to separate it so you can edit one track at a time. But in this video, we're gonna do it differently, just as an option. We're gonna record the drums to separate tracks for each mic, just for those who wanna do it this way. So I already set up a bunch of tracks, one for kick, snare, rack tom, floor tom, overheads, and rooms. Let's put the tracks into record by dragging down and set up their inputs where their mics are plugged into. We'll start with our kick, change this one to snare. For the save time, let's check out this trick. Let's select all the drum tracks, go to our inputs, and choose assign inputs sequentially using mono and starting at the kick. That's gonna make it kick, snare, rack tom, floor tom. But for these two tracks, they're gonna be stereo. So let's select these two, go to assign inputs sequentially, and choose stereo pairs. And for this, we'll do the overheads to the rooms. And those set up the inputs automatically for us. It just saves a bit of time. And I've already set up my project with some music we're gonna play the drums to. So we already got our levels perfect. And let's record our first pass, as we're gonna record multiple passes to comp from. Let's give it a shot. I was too busy to fall in love. You were too busy to break my heart. Nobody else was there to stop us. Nobody else was there to So that's our first pass. And if we record on top of it, Reaper will create new takes automatically. As long as we choose under options, new recording that overlaps existing media items to create splits, which it is by default. Just make sure it's set here if you happen to change it. So if we record again, it's gonna create another take. Let's do it. I was too busy to fall in love You were too busy to break my heart Nobody else was there to stop us Nobody else was there to So that recorded a second take. Let's do one more. I was too busy to fall in love. You were too busy to break my heart. Nobody else was there to stop us. Nobody else was there to So now we have three takes, or three performances. And to choose each take, here's where the problem lies. We could choose the first one by clicking right here, which changes it to take one. But that only changes it on our kick. Our snare is still on take three, along with the other tracks. We want them to switch together. 
which is the benefit of using one track to record the drums. And we can also switch by selecting the item, typing T, and that'll also switch the take. Take two, take three, back to take one. But again, it only does it on the kick or any items we select. So we could lasso them each time, hit the T key, and they all switch together. But a better way is to group them. So let's select all of them, type the G key for grouping, and now the items are grouped. And I also have to choose this option. Just right click up here on the item grouping button and turn on selecting one item selects the group. And also make sure this is enabled. So now we can select any item and it selects all of them. And we could also select the different takes. Take two, take three, and all the tracks switch together, which makes it easier for comping. So we can zoom in right here, and we want to switch to a different take over here, put our cursor here, type the S key, and that splits our item. But before we do that, let's go to our preferences, go to the tab, media item defaults, and make sure we choose overlap and crossfade items when splitting. So now, if we type S, it splits the item, but it also creates a crossfade, which we want. Hold we'll on shift to readjust it, and we can split our items so we can then comp them based on sections. Let's take the tracks out of record, play it from the beginning. I was too busy to fall in love. You were too busy to break my heart. Let's say right here, we want to switch to take two. We can select it, hit the T key, and now we're hearing take two. You were too busy to break my heart. Nobody else was there. Maybe at bar six, we want to switch to take three, select the item, type S, it splits it there. We can adjust our crossfade and adjust our take by hitting the T key or just selecting that take. Now, if you notice, the audio items are kind of small. So if you want to see this a bit bigger, just turn off the option, show all takes in lanes. And then we're just going to see the active take each time. We can still switch it by hitting the T key, take one, two, and three but we don't see all the takes at once, just the active take we chose. And just go through and comp the performance. Maybe over here, hit the S key and try out different takes to find the take you prefer. And the benefit of this method is it makes it easier to adjust one track at a time. Let's say you want to adjust this kick. Now, usually you want to adjust all the tracks together. So you'd split this over here and here, select the item, hold on Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and readjust the timing of the kick. And then all the tracks move together because they're grouped. But if you don't want to do it all together, we could just do it on one track. Turn off the grouping right here for our items. Select this item over here, type S, type S again. Now this item, we could adjust separately, separate from the other drum tracks. Now another reason to do this is if we're cleaning up any tracks we don't want to play. Like for example, our toms, they only play over here and here. We can clean that up using Razor Editing, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and right click drag and delete this whole section just on the Tom tracks. Do it a little closer here and here. Maybe clean these up over here and here. Now the Toms aren't playing in these sections, just to reduce some leakage. So it gives us some flexibility 
to adjust our drums on a track by track basis, but we do have to group them first. So that's pretty much it. That's how to create a multi track drum recording using multiple tracks in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!